So my dad uses Raspberry Pi 4s at tower sites for remote access. Dad, has it been easy to get Raspberry Pi 4s lately? No. And that's why I flew over 4,000 miles to the UK to visit the official Raspberry Pi store. I want to see if there actually are Raspberry Pi 4s in stock anywhere. Coming into the Raspberry Pi store, we have a little family room area that has, there's a cute little bear under there that my daughter would love. Along with, it looks like there's a grow hat mini and an outdoor rain thing. So this is, it looks like the store is set up in a few different areas. There's that, there's also a little balcony inside. That's nice. First of all, I apologize for some of the audio in this video. I had to use my backup mic because I plugged my main microphone into the output of my recorder and not the input. Oops. But walking around the store, this first area is a welcoming living room type set with a bunch of hidden gems like these Enviro hats that are actually connected back to another Pi running Home Assistant. Then as you walk in, the store was actually just remodeled a couple weeks ago, and the centerpiece is a new Pi display with practically every product Raspberry Pi has ever made after you pass by a bunch of pies set up at just the right height for kids to hack on them. And behind that, there's a maker wall with some live demos like Pico Bricks, where you can modify the code and play around with them. And that area also demos some other things like this Argon Neo case and the Pi mouse pads. They even sell an Ender 3S1, a 3D printer I actually just bought for my new office back home. It's, it's a nice printer. The centerpiece of the store is definitely this Pi display though. In just a few square feet, they have tons of Pi kits and they also sell every accessory from the Pi cameras to build hats and everything else. There are demos of the Pi 400 and Pi 4 desktop kit. And well, that's pretty and all, but this wall, this is where the action is, at least for me. I'm calling it the maker wall because it has everything from more Raspberry Pis to Pico build kits, Vero boards, soldering accessories, storage cables, adapters, and even an oscilloscope. And of course, all the pie bling too, starting with that cute little Babbage Bear. I did pick up one of those for my daughter, by the way. And finally, when you go to check out, you can spend an hour looking at all the different pie prototypes they have on display, from the original pie and zero prototypes to alternative case designs that are straight out of the 80s. One thing that's to me the most impressive in the store is this wall. There, there's some Raspberry Pis over here, but uh, there's so many little maker parts and wires and breadboards and scopes and things. It's cool, but I, it's like I have a micro center too and they have that. But, yeah. you know, what is the experience here in the UK? Um, so we used to have a store called Maplin, this, uh, which probably would have been uh, as close as you could get to a micro center over here. But sadly, that closed down a good number of years ago. Some of my managers who used to work in Maplin, uh, they came across to Raspberry Pi when we were opening up this first store. Uh, a lot of the stuff here is more or less the only place that you can actually find them. So we have a whole bunch of resistors. We've got uh, an oscilloscope up there, um, breadboards, vera boards, just a whole bunch of like maker products and everything where this is probably the only place that isn't online that you can actually find them in the UK. And you can walk in. Yeah, like, and pick them up straight off the shelf. And uh, yeah, and we don't have everything, of course, but we have enough to, that for a lot of people, it covers all their bases. Look, there's actually Raspberry Pis. It's not a myth. They are here. So if you need a Raspberry Pi, you can get a kit, the desktop kit. There's a Pi 400. There's a bunch of those. So this is, looks like there are some, and over here, I think I can get one for my dad. There's, let's see, Pi 4, 8 gig, and 4 gig and 2 gig, so any of these. So I think I'll probably get my dad a 4 gig. So they do exist. And I know you're gonna ask, they actually do sometimes sell single Raspberry Pi units outside of the kits and things like that, but they've had to do a lot of things to prevent scalping. There actually was an underground scalping ring that was going on that was like coming in and buying up all the stock from the Raspberry Pi store every day. So yeah, scalpers are in everything. There's another Pi. Oh, this one has Home Assistant. So let's see here. Oh, that's actually connected. Huh, that's kind of cool. So the buttons actually do things. That's nice, and it all works too. This is the end of the day, to be clear, and everything is still working, so that might be a good uh, a good sign of the worth of the products that they put on display is that they actually work at the end of the day at a retail store where the public can walk in and, and hammer it. Camera module 3's global shutter camera that I just covered, but that was uh, a weird time for me, so I didn't, I didn't do a full video on that yet. High quality camera, sense hat, build hat, PoE plus hat, all the different parts that you could need to do a Raspberry Pi project. And from what I've heard, this setup here is going to be integrated into some micro centers. I think somebody already has one set up. 
So St. Louis apparently is not cool enough to get one of these, but maybe someday. This is the wall that I'm most interested in. This, this is a fun wall. It has pretty much everything that you could need to build your own little maker space. Everything from, uh, there's ESD mats and trays and, and containers and all the bit sets that you'd ever need from iFixit, a multimeter, an oscilloscope, all the prototyping parts and things, soldering gear, the jumper cables and stuff. And then you have a bunch of cool pie projects. <laughs> there's there's a, a real, whoops. Well, the retail people are gonna kill me for doing that. I saw how, how good they were about keeping this all clean throughout the day. I'll fix that for them. There we go. That's a cool little kit. It's like the Galactic Unicorn except t teeny tiny. Oh, I didn't even see this. There's large Vero board for, for your big projects. You know what? Micro Center doesn't have one that big. Pi Zero. Look, they're in stock. You can buy one. Pi Zero W, Zero WH with headers, power supplies, keyboards and stuff, a bunch of cases. I did see a few other things. They have USB drives. They have, uh, what is this? They have some game pads and things. They actually have SSDs. And there's some merch, Pi cables. And then over here, apparently this, I think this is kind of new. Some of these stickers, at least. There's a bunch of stickers that you can get. Resistance is futile. One other area that I like is all these books. They don't have my Ansible for DevOps book, though. But then back here is a really cool part of the store. Some of the Pi history. So it looks like pretty much all the different Pi models, including a lot of prototypes. This right here was the first Raspberry Pi prototype board. And then you got other boards that are interesting. It says that one is uh, an LCD board. There's some compute modules here. I guess I, they never released a bling case, but if they did, that would be it. Some other case designs. This one really reminds me of like the 19, late 90s of computing. So if they ever wanted to do a, you know, in 10 or 20 years, that'll be retro. And check out where, now I'm gonna need to check this out and bring it back home to my dad. Which is this for today? Yep, perfect. That comes to 90 pound in total. Great. Let's pop that through for you there. There you go. And would you like your receipt? Uh, yes, please. Absolutely. I'll print out that box in just a few minutes. Okay. Thanks very much. Goodbye, beautiful hotel room. All right, so 4,000 miles back from the UK to St. Louis, and Dad, here you go. Hey, you found one. <laughs> well, sort of. I got that pie from the pie store, but I also visited the Sony factory in Wales where they make Raspberry Pis. And I have good news. Eben Upton, Raspberry Pi's CEO, told me they expect pies to be back in stock soon. Check out the whole interview right up here. The pie factory video is taking a long time to finish, but it's going to be worth it, so make sure you're subscribed. And until next time, I'm Jeff Gearling.